Hi, in this video we are going to show you how you can build a wall mounted desk with a budget of approximately $100. I like the idea of a wall mounted desk because it makes cleaning the floor easier because of the absence of the table legs and it creates a very minimalistic look and feel for your room. Before this, my workstation was just a basic IKEA Linman tabletop with 4 Arduino legs. In this DIY project, I'll be using a larger Linman table so that I could put the desktop on top of the table and to free up space on the floor. Now let's get to the tools and materials that we will be using to complete our table. We have listed all these items down in the video description, as well as details on where you can get them. If you already own some of these tools, feel free to reuse them. The triangle brackets will be used to secure the table to the wall. We bought this from AliExpress and there is some slight difference in the dimensions of the brackets. They came from two different sellers so that we can make a comparison to see which has better quality. We have linked both of them in the description and indicated our preferred seller for reasons such as better positioning of the mounting holes and faster delivery times. Now we will begin the building process. We will start by marking 70cm from ground up, which is the exact height of the IKEA Arduino legs, and it's suitable for most adults. You can of course adjust this height to your preference. Once you have marked the two points on the wall, it's time to get a buddy's help and make use of the chalk line reel. The purpose of it is to simply help us make a temporary marking on the wall. Using a level rule, ensure that the line is perfectly level. And if it isn't, you can simply clean up the chalk line and redo the marking. We will now mark the position for the four triangular brackets. The size of a Linmon table that we got is 75cm by 150cm. If you take a closer look at the underside of the table, you will find the screw holes that are used to mount the table legs. Regardless of the size of the Linmon table you are getting, you will be able to make use of this holes to decide the position of the brackets. A detailed explanation for deriving these measurements can be found on our blog and it's linked in our video description as well. Once we are done with marking the positions of the screws for the bracket, it is time to set up the hammer drill. Using this simple method of comparison, we can adjust the hammer drill stopper to ensure a correct hole depth. For this project, we will be using a 8mm drill bit and an 8mm plastic anchor to secure the screws. Hammer drills are mainly used for drilling into concrete and unlike a normal drill, it has an added function of hammering the drill bit into the wall, making it much easier to drill through concrete. But because of this constant hammering action while drilling, a lack in experience might result in deviation from the position that we have marked. To overcome this, you can first begin drilling without turning on the hammering function. Once the drill bit has made a crater on the wall, you can turn on the hammering function and finish drilling. After we are done with drilling all 8 holes, we can now proceed to clean up. I made use of a small straw attached to the end of a vacuum cleaner hose so that I could remove the debris inside the hose. This helps to ensure a maximum contact between the plastic anchors and the wall and it prevents the bracket from working loose once the table is being loaded. DIY projects are rarely smooth sailing and this particular project was no exception. We had initially made use of plastic anchors that came with the fixer screw set, but they aren't exactly expansion plastic anchors. This means that the anchors do not expand as they are being tightened inside the wall. And as you can see, just after a week of using the table, there were signs that the screws and anchors were being pried out of the wall. We knew we needed a better solution. 
We reached out to Titan Brackets, a TV bracket specialist in Singapore who had helped mount my 55-inch television in the past. They had kindly recommended using the Hilti plastic anchors. To show you a quick comparison, the one on the left is from Hilti, while the other is from IKEA. These worked extremely well and we never had the same issue. We remain with using the IKEA fixer anchors for the bottom row of screws because they do not experience the same pulling force as the ones on top. Now all that's left is to assemble the brackets and follow by the table. Once the assembly of the brackets are completed, we can proceed to make minor adjustments. Depending on how familiar you are with making accurate markings and operating a power tool, there might be slight inaccuracies between the contact points of all four brackets with the underside of the table. This is the time to make adjustments such that once the table is secured, weight is equally distributed across all four brackets. We then make markings on the underside of the table, followed by drilling a 2mm guide hole that we can use to fasten the table to the bracket. Any of the following screws can be used to secure the table. And with that, we have come to the end of our video and we hope that you have learned something new from this project. Do get yourself subscribed to this channel for more content like this and let us know down in the comments section if you have any questions.